You're about to discover my five favorite ways for getting traffic to a website that have made me millions and millions of dollars. I'm gonna show you these step by step. Now, the first traffic method you can use is organic traffic. Now, firstly, let me tell you, organic traffic is great because it's free. You can also do it relatively quickly, but it will take you some time and effort. And unlike a lot of those videos that you see out there on YouTube, I've actually done this and continue to do this day after day, week after week, month after month with great results. And I've made millions of dollars doing it so I know what I'm talking about. Now, the other thing I should say is I don't have a training course to sell you on traffic, so I'm not pitching anything. This is really just all of my experience from doing this for 20 years. Now, with organic traffic, the issue when you first get started is you're not an expert and organic traffic is all about content. The more value you can put out there, the more information you can convey to people, and the more you can help them, the quicker you're going to build your organic traffic base. It starts by getting a following and you get a following by giving people what they want. You need to tap into what they are challenged with in their life, the problems that they have, but also what they desire. And when you know that and you understand your avatar that you're aiming towards, then you can create content around that. And it's all about consistency, putting high quality content out on a consistent basis that people will actually consume and probably share as long as you do a good job. Now, to get to that point, you're gonna have to put out a lot of content initially to get good. It takes quantity to get quality. And what you're aiming for eventually down the line is to be able to do both simultaneously and do high quantity of quality. Now, when it comes to getting traffic, there are different types of traffic you can get. You can get hot traffic or you can get cold traffic. Hot traffic is when it's already warmed up, when people know you, they like you, they trust you, and they know something about you or the product or service that you have in advance. That's when it's hot. It's cold when they don't know any of that stuff and you're relying more on interruption marketing, where, for example, you're scrolling through the newsfeed and suddenly you stop people dead in their tracks and you say, hey, stop doing what you're doing right now and come and have a look at this. That's cold traffic. Now, organic traffic, this first method of getting traffic, is warm or hot traffic because people that have gone through your content obviously know you, like you, and trust you more than somebody that's just seen an ad. Now, because of that, it is a great way to get traffic, but it does take time and effort. And that's why many people don't do it. Or they try it for a month, try it for a few weeks, and then they give up. They put some stuff out there, and then they just stop. They don't do anything after that. They say, I've done a blog for a month. I've done a blog for a couple of months it's not working, I've not made a bajillion dollars, and then they quit. Organic traffic is not fast. It will take you time to build up, and it's all about consistency, doing things day after day after day. If you're gonna do organic traffic, which if you're starting out and you don't have money to spend on ads is probably your only way of getting traffic, you need to see that it's a long-term proposition. You've gotta earmark at least, I would say, nine to 12 months to start getting traction. The second kind of method you can use to get traffic to your website is internal traffic. Now, internal traffic means you already own this traffic. You've done something to get that follower, to get somebody on your mailing list. So with the previous organic method, ideally what you're trying to do is give so much value that people want to enter their email address in order to get more. So you might give away a free guide, you might give away a free training or something like that, and people enter their email address on your website to join your mailing list. Now you have the ability to send internal traffic. So internal traffic can just be sending an email to your entire mailing list. It could be doing an announcement to all your followers on social media. It could be doing a live stream on social media. This is a way of getting internal traffic on demand. Now, this is like a bonus reward that you get if you do organic traffic consistently and for long enough and at a high level of quality. Now, with internal traffic, it's extremely hot. Remember, we've got this scale of hot to cold. It's extremely hot and warmed up traffic because they're already following you, they're already on your mailing list. And because of that, they're gonna be rabid and ready to buy whatever it is that you put in front of them, which is great. It's also very, very quick. You can literally just send an email and broadcast it out to thousands or tens of thousands of people through your autoresponder and reach people instantly. So it's a great thing to have, but you can't go from zero to internal traffic. You have to either get organic or other methods of traffic 
first. The key to really ramp up your ability to use internal traffic is giving as much value away as possible in your free content and getting people on a mailing list. And a lot of this is about understanding where people are in their journey as a prospect over to a customer. Lots of people focus on getting traffic, getting website visitors, but it's the wrong type of traffic. If you're not targeting people that have a problem, that want to solve that problem and have money to solve that problem, you're wasting your time. You might get somebody that has a problem, but they don't want to solve it. You might get somebody that has a problem, wants to solve it, but is flat broke. You might even get somebody that has a problem, has money to solve it, wants to spend spend money on that problem, but they're just not able to for some reason. Maybe they don't control their income, maybe somebody else makes the decisions. So you've got to try and use the right traffic method to attract the right type of people for the right offer. It's not just about getting bodies into your website and onto your list. You need to get the right people. So in just one of the platforms that I've used, I've got over 10 million visitors to have a look and come into my websites, but they're all highly targeted visitors. People that I know are interested in the product or service, people that I know have a problem that I can solve, and they have the ability and willingness to spend money to solve that problem. Hey, let me ask you a question. Now, I'm sure you're enjoying this training right now, but wouldn't it be awesome if rather than learning all of this and having to do all of the work and implementation yourself, you could just make money online like this? I made $68,582 over the last 30 days, $14,144 over the last seven days, $4,700 yesterday, and today already I've made $300. And this is just one of my accounts. Well, I'm on a mission to give away everything that I know and all my money. Too. Why would I do this? Because I've been doing this for over 20 years. I really don't need the money and I want to leave a legacy. Click the link below and I'll show you how to make your dreams of a $10,000 per month business a reality. And yes, anybody can do this. You can do it without any hard work. You can do it without learning any new skills and you can do it without any money down. Just click the link below to discover the simple method for yourself. The third method for getting traffic is paid traffic. Now, many people look at this as the easiest route to get started because you just dip into your wallet and you can get traffic right away. Now, if we go back to that sliding scale, paid traffic is cold, stone cold, ice cold, in fact, because people don't know anything about you when they see that ad. You're interrupting them about their busy day. They're on their newsfeed, you're hitting them in the face, or they're on YouTube and you're hitting them in the face, or they're walking down the street and you're hitting them in the face with a billboard. It's interruption marketing and you're getting people when they're stone cold. So in order to do that, you've got to realize that the quality of traffic that you get when you're paying for it will generally be a lot worse than traffic when you're doing it through organic or internal methods, as I've described. The great thing, however, about paid traffic is it's fast. You could literally get your credit card out, get your wallet out, and you can buy traffic in the next minutes and be getting that traffic to your website ASAP. Now, while it's true that money does love speed, you don't just want to be getting any kind of traffic to your website, and you really shouldn't be looking at paid traffic at all until you're well advanced in your business. The mistake I see a lot of people making is they see other people advertising on social media and they think, oh, look, that person's just advertising a $10 ebook or a $20 service or some entry point thing. If they can do that, I can do that. They must be making a ton of money doing it. However, what they don't see is everything underneath that's out of public view, that when you buy that small program, you're actually then being upgraded to other programs worth several hundred, several thousand, or even tens of thousands of dollars. And that's what enables that advertiser to remain profitable. You don't see that, so you just think they're selling a $10 or a $5 widget or product, but in fact they have this huge funnel behind the scenes that's propping up their advertising. And if you don't have that and you're just starting out and you don't have a whole suite of products and services to offer, which should ideally add up if somebody bought all of them to at least $100,000, yes, I'm serious, then you shouldn't really be looking at paid ads. And this is one of the reasons why people waste a lot of time and a lot of money with drop shipping, because they're trying to advertise a simple widget that's maybe $5 or $10, and they think that's where the money's gonna be made. But it's really not, but it's in the additional upgrades and upsells and further products and services that you can offer where the real profit is made. And if you don't have those, you're gonna lose your shirt by running paid ads. The other downside to paid ads is you do not have a long time to get people's attention and get them to take action because they've got no idea who you are. So you've got to go in with a big claim or a big promise, but you've got to pay that off quickly and you've got to justify it. You've got to try and convey excitement, attention, credibility, authority, and all of these things in about two to three seconds. It's 
very, very tricky. And for this reason, and because you need a lot of products and services to offer in order to make it profitable, I recommend you do not start with paid ads. Traffic method number four is affiliate traffic. Now, affiliate traffic is awesome. It's where other people, affiliates, promote your stuff and send you traffic. And all you do is give them a percentage of the sale. So the great thing about this is it's instant and it's hot traffic because they're making a recommendation. These people that buy are already on the affiliates mailing list and the affiliate emails those people saying, hey, this product's great, this person's great, this service is great. So they give you an endorsement and they warm up that traffic. So they're almost ready to buy by the time they get to your offer page which is awesome for you. However, you can only use this source of traffic, of course, if you have a product to sell. If you don't have a digital product of your own to sell, you're not gonna get affiliates to promote it because it doesn't exist. Over the 20 years that I've been doing this, I've made millions and millions of dollars, and almost all of that has come from affiliate traffic. Other people promoting my offers as affiliates, I give them a share of the money, sometimes 100% of the money, which I'll explain in a moment, and they drive masses of traffic from the traffic that they've already worked hard to get. So rather than me having to create a lot of organic content, rather than me having to pay for ads, my affiliates do all that on my behalf, they build their own mailing lists, and then they promote my products and I reward them with a commission. So I'm getting all the buyers without having to get all the traffic and do all the hard work involved in that. Now, in order to get to this stage, you need great products that really, really help people. You need products that sell really well and convert really well so that when people do send traffic, they make a lot of money. And you need to be generous in the amount of commissions that you give. For the last seven or eight years, I've been giving 100% commissions on some of my programs. And that sounds weird. You might think, how are you even making money if you're giving all of the money away to affiliates? And the reason is because of what I mentioned before, having this funnel of multiple products. I might give 100% away on the first product that somebody buys and maybe even on the upgrades that they buy in the front end funnel and that front end funnel just means what's publicly visible on the website so they might buy a training for ten dollars then they might buy some video extras for another twenty dollars they might buy some templates for a hundred dollars and i'll give all of that money away to the affiliate that sent that person in so they get a hundred percent commissions on everything and that makes them really incentivized to send as much traffic as possible i'm not getting any of that money but I do get a buyer lead, somebody that's bought my program and now gets to know me, like me, and trust me by going through that program. Then I make additional offers for much more money than that initial front end program. Not everybody will buy them because not everybody wants to and not everybody can and not everybody's suitable, but we have coaching, we have an apprenticeship program, and if people invest in those, sometimes I even give 100% of that away, but quite often I'll keep at least half of that money for myself with our business because we do have 15 full-time people working for us right now. So we have to pay their salary, do payroll, and of course, fulfill on all the costs of the business. The key thing to remember with affiliate traffic is you've got to put your affiliates first. The more money you can give them, the easier you make it for them, and the more tools you give them that are ready-made that they can use to promote your product, the better. We often write all the emails that they can send. We give them reviews that they can post. We give them ready-made videos that talk about the product that they can use on their YouTube account and it's all done for them and we give away 100% of all the money. So they can just take these ready-made promos, go out to their mailing list and their traffic sources, hit everybody up with that offer, they get all of the money and I get all the buyer leads for free. Now you might think, well, surely you're giving away all this money. Isn't that losing you money? Well, no, because I wouldn't get those sales if those affiliates did not promote. So it's like getting free advertising, but you do need to do a lot of work over a long period of time to get to a position where you can create products that convert well, products that really deliver on your promise and products that actually can pay a lot of affiliates a lot of money by having a high price tag. Now let's talk about traffic method number five, which is cold outbound. As the name suggests, it's ice cold. So it's not warmed up traffic. It's not people that know you, like you and trust you. It's ice cold. It's where you're going out to them. Now, this is borderline spam. I've never done this. I don't advocate this, but I'm talking about it because some people do make good money doing this. And it means things like direct messaging on social media, sending out text messages, sending out cold emails, 
calling people up, cold calling, even knocking on doors. Now, there are entire multi-million dollar businesses that are built around cold outreach like this. So it is possible. I personally just don't advocate it. It just feels a little bit icky to me to go up to somebody and not only interrupt them as you do with a paid ad, but literally go up to them where they're not even expecting it. It's okay on social media when you're scrolling and you're expecting to see an ad. Yeah, some people take offense at that. Hey, why are you advertising on that? Well, because that's how the entire network is built. They give you all this content for free so they can get the eyeballs and then monetize those eyeballs by charging advertisers like me a fee to get in front of you. So that's why I'm advertising. So I don't have an issue with that, but I do have an issue personally, morally and ethically with knocking on doors, ramming products in people's faces, cold DMing them, emailing them when they're not even on my email list and so on. I mention it because it's possible. There are ethical ways to do it, but I just don't want to do it as part of my business.